What's up, guys? So, we got some sudden news. Um, I don't know 100% what's going on. I just can tell you it's not good for motorsport games. And maybe good news for everyone else, right? For us as a community, because what we've been waiting for for the longest time is for this company to just finally crash and burn and just fucking be, you know, have the, the plug pulled, right, from life support. And they've been dragging their feet, dragging their feet. But the problems have gotten so bad because they're not making money from anything. Um, and they're, they're not, they, they're just not able to keep, you know, getting, finding suckers to keep investing. Um, things are not working out well for them. So people are jumping ship. That's basically what's going on. I skimmed the article real quick. I'm going to just try to get to the meat of it. Um, it a lot of it is above my head because a lot of it does have to do with uh, the stock market, you know, the shares of the company. Um, and But it's not good, right? When everybody's jumping ship, there's a problem, you know. So we're going to look. This is one tweet. And this basically lets you know what's going on. All of the company's top executives have resigned, except for the cheater CEO, which is Dimitri Costco. So everybody jump ship. The, the captain of the ship is by himself. And the, the ship's still sinking. He's still, I don't know what he's, you know, I guess he, he's, he, all he could be doing is preparing, you know, his exit at this point. There was, there was no more support at Motorsport Games, NASCAR Ignition, Le Mans Virtual, uh, Okay, so let's see. No, I can't read this. This this one is too small, but there's over here. Okay, I read this. A lot of it is a lot of jargon. It's going to be hard to understand, but most of this is, is talking about, um, you know, the, the problems with the stock not meeting the minimum requirements, which was to reach that $1 a share threshold, right? Also, they had to have a minimum of 500,000 publicly held shares as, de as defined in the NASDAQ listing rules. So they're not in compliance with having a minimum 500,000 publicly held shares. And where's the other one? The bottom line is they're not able to raise the capital. They're just, there's, you know, where are they going to get it from? Um... And a bunch of everybody that's that was connected in the board of, of uh, let's see, wait, hold on. Mr. John Delta is now the sole independent director remaining. Okay, this was earlier, right? Give me a second. The staff stated in a letter that under the rules, the company has 45 calendar days to, all right, hold on. Received a deficiency letter. They don't. They, okay. Company plans to provide the staff prior to December 29th with the company's plan to regain compliance. The company is act. They're not even waiting. They just jump ship. They're not waiting for a plan. Uh, they, you know, they know they're smart enough to know this, this shit's over. And they're jumping ship. Yeah. Rather than try to explain this to you, I'm just going to make it confusing because I don't fully understand myself what's going on. And I'm not going to pretend to, but I can talk about the obvious. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty oh, pretty much over. Everybody's jumping ship. Departure of directors of certain officers, election direction uh, directors, appointment of certain officers, compensatory arrangements of certain officers. So... Director resignations, November 9th, Neil Anderson and Peter Moore, the independent members of the board of the audit committee of the board, notified the board of their resignations from the board. So this was a couple days ago. Effective immediately as a result, a disagreement with Motorsport Network, LLC, um, the majority stockholder of the company, regarding proposals by such directors to raise additional capital for the company in one or more transactions that could require stockholder approval that would be dilutive to MSN 
and November 7th, written request sent in its capacity majority stockholder of the company to such individuals resign from the board because of such disagreement. So basically, they know they they they, they see that they're not going to be able to raise the capital. They're just jumping ship. They you know they know it's over. The resignations were not over any disagreement with the company or with uh, other directors of the company on any matters relating to the company's operations, policies, or practices. That's bullshit. Um, you know, this this whole company has been operating uh, in a big, confusing mess, okay? Um, there were rumors of all kinds of things that just weren't kosher. Uh, for the longest time, um, I don't believe any of this. They, they're prob this is probably, it, it's mostly the money, the inability to raise enough capital to keep things going. That's the most obvious thing, right? But don't tell me that uh, it's not about anything relating to the company's operations, policies, or practices. Um, this this whole shit show, it, 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 it had to do with all of it. But the money it was obviously the biggest factor. On November 9th, Francesco P.O. Vanetti, the independent member of the board and the audit committee of the board, notified the board of his resignation, effective immediately as a result, a disagreement with the, with the company and MSM regarding proposals by such director to raise additional capital for the company in one or more transactions that could require stockholder approval and would be dilutive. Okay. Did I just fucking read that twice? A lot of the, oh, no, no, see, they wrote it twice. Okay, I wasn't going crazy. It was just, okay, they're just reporting every every instant. Okay, so first it was these two guys, then this guy. Now here, James Allen, a member of the board, notified the board of his resignation from the board, effect, effective immediately, not over a disagreement with the company or anything relating to the company's operations, policies, or practices. Uh, but so that given the resignations of the above directors, a new board can be appointed. In connection with the foregoing changes, John Delta, the company's interim chief financial officer, okay, resigned. So, it, you know, it was a domino effect. The first two guys ran out the door. Then this Francesco guy said, where are you guys going? And he sees them running, and they got their fucking life jackets on. And he's like, what the fuck? I'm out. Because they knew this was coming. Uh, then he's running, right? So he runs right by James Allen's office. And he's like, where the fuck are you guys all going? Uh, and they got all they, you know, they all got those big orange vests on. Oh, he run, He grabs his vest. He runs. So he runs down. <laughs> so then in connection with the full growing changes, John Delta. So he... So, so the CFO, okay, so it started at the bottom, and then as you move up each tier, more and more guys are grabbing their life jackets, and they're fucking running. And they're, they're running because they're like, is there any fucking lifeboats left? And <laughs> so then the CFO, John Delta, now he's like, hey, where's everybody going? Fuck this. I'm not going to get stuck here by myself. He ran, and now he's resigned. Uh, man, and this all happened the same day. So it just happened, like, right? All together. Okay. And immediately thereafter was appointed to the company. Okay, hold on. Such position immediately thereafter was appointed to the company's board of directors at his, at, and its audit committee to fill the vacancy from the above independent director's resignation. Wait a minute. Okay, so he resigned as CFO to take over what the fuck? To take over the board the, the company's board of directors and its audit committee. So he was just changing position. The the board of directors determined that Mr. Delta qualifies as an independent director for purposes of the rules of regulations on the security exchange. Okay, so basically he just resigned as CFO and then he just went to fill positions that these other jackasses ran and fucking abandoned ship. Uh, so he wasn't putting on his life jacket. He just, he's still trying to help. <laughs> so now he's going, oh my God, what a shit show. This is fucking hilarious. 
Okay, hold on. I, I know that's... Hold on. Bear with me. I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure this out as I go. I don't want to read all this shit, so I'm just going to... Hold on. Which provides that employment by a director as an executive officer on an interim basis shall not qualify, disqualify that director from being considered independent following such employment provided the interim employment did not last longer than a year. In addition, while during his brief tenure, Mr. Delta reviewed certain financial materials. He did not participate in the preparation of the company's financial statements while serving as the company's CFO. That this, you know, this is above my head, but it doesn't sound good. It sounds like they made him, they put him in a temporary position just to play games with, with, with the fucking numbers. They're saying he didn't. Um, this, I, this is above my head, but I, I, this is not good. All of it's bad. Uh, it's a real shit show. All right, hold on, hold on. Board of Directors determined that Mr. Delta qualifies, blah, 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 of the audit committee in light of his experience in the finance and accounting industries as well. These these fucking people are all fucking part of the same scam. scam. It's just poor Dimitri. He's still steering the ship and it's going to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, governance. The Delta will receive such compensation as disclosed in the director's... Hold on, hold on. Okay. Accordingly, the consulting service agreement with the tech CXO pursuant to which the company paid tech CXO an hourly rate of $450. $450 an hour for Mr. Delta's service as interim CFO has been terminated. In connection with John Delta's resignation as the company CFO, that motherfucker was making $450 an hour? Oh my God, what a fucking... Don't tell me these motherfuckers aren't scammers. In connection with John Delta's resignation as the CFO, effective November 9th, Dimitri Costco was appointed to the company's interim CFO position as well as the company's principal financial officer and principal accounting officer. Mr. Costco will not receive any additional compensation in connection with assuming such duties. So basically, everyone that jumped off the ship, he's, he's doing all their jobs, which he's not doing shit. This is a fucking shit show. Uh, pull the fucking plug. Pull the fucking plug. Um... This is, I mean, how, how much longer can this go? So, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and, and this guy summed it up pretty good. Holy fucking shit, the entire board of directors of Motorsport Games have resigned. They all resigned after a disagreement with Motorsport Network over how funding would be raised. Yeah, that's basically it. And, and that's a good way to just round out everything. Thanks for the information. Um, yeah, if anything new pops up, I'll let you guys know. This is crazy, but, you know, is is it really that crazy? I mean, we saw this coming. It's a shit show. This fucking Dimitri guy. Um, yeah, everybody's watching. And it's only a matter of time. He's looking for an exit. I think that's what he's doing because he's going to be the, the last guy holding the bag. So, um yeah, he's looking for a, a good way to exit. He's, so, yeah. These other guys ran the fuck out, jumped off. And, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for now. If I find out anything else, I'll let you guys in on it. But, yeah, this is crazy. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, later.